I'm gonna show you how to make a YouTube thumbnail that actually gets clicked. We're gonna run through this tutorial using the top free YouTube thumbnail maker app that I recommend so you can learn to create awesome custom video thumbnails quickly and easily. Now for this, you don't need to be using professional apps like Photoshop. Obviously, if you can, then by all means go for it. But for most people, this is just a huge time sink that you can get awesome results just using simple and free tools that are available to everyone. So over the years, we've gone back and forth between a couple of different tools, but my top two recommendations right now for creating thumbnail images and other graphics and things for YouTube are Canva and Snapper. And I'll have links to those down in the description. Now, both of these have great features and templates and things already built in, making this task really easy for you. But our number one pick right now is Canva, and that's what I'm gonna be taking you through in this training, because right now there are some more templates and things to choose from and some more advanced features that you don't have in Snapper yet. And don't worry, I'll call out any of the paid features that I'm using, and I'll also give you some alternatives so you can create something here totally for free. Now, the first thing you want to do is grab a photo or an image that you can use of yourself if you want to be in that thumbnail image. Now, I want to stress here, you want to be intentional about creating this. You don't want to have to try and scrub through one of your videos and try and find that perfect freeze frame where you're not talking, half smiling, something that looks decent. It's so much easier if you just leave your camera recording at the end of recording a video, smile, point, pull some silly faces, and that's what you're gonna to use to form the basis of your thumbnail image. Now to extract a still image or a photo from your video, there are some great free tools out there to do it. Most video editing software will let you do it. So by all means, use your video editing software. But the free tool that I use to make this really fast and simple is called VLC Player. And it's available on both Mac and Windows. So you're gonna open up your video file in VLC, scrub through or find the place where you want to capture that image. Then you just need to go up to the menu at the top where it says video, go down to snapshot, and that's gonna save that image for you in your photos area on your computer. Okay, so I'm over at Canva's website now. You wanna go ahead and sign up, create a free account if you don't have one yet. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Now from there, if we come up to the top middle here to this search area, there's lots of different presets and templates and things in here. So if we just start typing in YouTube, we can see here we've got YouTube thumbnails, YouTube banner, YouTube channel logo. Let's go YouTube thumbnails. And you can see that as we scroll down here, there are just so many different templates and things in here that you can use for inspiration that you can also fully customize up and create your own, have them match your brand and the look and feel of the thumbnails that you wanna create. So you don't have to start from scratch in here. And that's what I love about this. And what I love about Canva is there's so many different templates and things in here. Now you do want to note that the ones with the little crown down the bottom here are the ones that aren't available for free. So you'll see there's so many here that are, but all of these ones here, you will need to jump on the pro plan for those, which is still ridiculously cheap. But even say this one here, if I just click on this, this is a free one. Everything in here is customizable. We can move stuff around. We can change the fonts. We can edit the text. We can delete things that we don't want. This is what I love about these tools. Now I'm gonna go back out of this. We're gonna create something totally custom here. So I'm gonna go up the top corner here, create design. I'm gonna come down to custom size. And I'm gonna type in 1920 for the width and 1080 for the height. Now this is probably the biggest that you wanna create your thumbnail images in. So this is the equivalent of a 1080p video. You can also use 720p, so 1280 by 720. That's gonna be fine too. But for us, we'd like to create a bigger file so that you can repurpose and reuse this other places and it's gonna work fine on YouTube too. I'm gonna go ahead and click create new design. So then this here is our design or canvas area. So what we're gonna start with is we're gonna put in a background color or a gradient, just something to start with that we can tweak and adjust as our template here evolves. So I'm gonna come up here to elements and in here we can see that we can add in lines and shapes and graphics and stickers and there's photos and things we can use as backgrounds. There's a lot in here. But what I think is really powerful is the ability to search in Canva. So we can come up here and we can search for gradient, run that search. And as we scroll down, there's lots of different gradients and things that we can use as a simple background. Now I'm gonna sort this here by graphics. And then I'm just gonna pick a simple one here. Now let's go ahead and scale this up so that it fills our entire background. Now these aren't really the colors that we want. So with this image selected, we can come up the top here and pick new colors. So let's say down this left side here, we wanted to have a dark blue. We can go ahead and try to pick something close to what we want. Maybe something like that. And for the second color, maybe a lighter blue. That one might be a bit light. We can customize that up. Let's darken it down a little. 
Okay, so that'll probably do for the background here. Now let's go ahead and add in our photo. So we wanna come over here to uploads and we wanna upload a file. We wanna navigate through and find our file. So here is my image from VLC. I'm gonna hit open on this one. You can see that that's uploading on the side here. So if we select on that image, that's gonna bring it into our project here. Now we could just scale this up and use this as our entire image. So we could create our thumbnail from something like this and add some text and graphics and stuff from here and we're good to go. Or what we can do is we can actually remove the background and cut me out here and create something pretty creative. So with this image still selected, I wanna come up here to edit image and I'm going to choose background remover. That's gonna go ahead and it's going to analyze the image. It's going to remove the background and cut me out, make the background transparent. Now this feature isn't free, you can't access this on the free Canva plan, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you how you can get the same effect in just a minute as well. So you can see here, that's done a really good job. And now I have a transparent image that I can pick up and I can move around and use however we want in this thumbnail. Now there's lots of different ways that you could remove the background outside of using this tool. For those of you that are on an iPhone, you can open this image up on your phone in the Photos app. So I'm gonna go ahead here and select this image. All we now need to do with the latest update is just tap on the person. In this case, it's me. And it's, you can see it's already outlining me on there. So I can hit share. I can then come down here to save image. That's gonna save it as its own transparent graphic. There's the next one in the photo library there. And then we can just send this back to the computer. Come back over here to uploads. Let's upload that other file from our phone. Choose open. And you can see we've got the transparent version that has been uploaded here now. So again, same outcome, same end result, but there's other ways to do it too. But personally, I love Canva has this built in. I think it's really powerful, it's fast, and that enough for me is enough to justify the expense. Now, speaking of expense, for those of you that are interested, here are the pricing plans. This is showing US dollars. You can see everything that's included in the free plans. You can do so much in here without needing to spend a cent. But for those of you that are looking for that background remover, the extra templates, the extra storage and stuff, then this is gonna start at $12.99 per month. It is cheaper if you go the yearly option as well. But again, it's absolutely amazing what they're giving you access to in even the free option. Okay, so we've got our photo in here. We have a background. I'm gonna select on the photo. We can tweak some of the colors and things in here by coming up to edit image. We can then go either to adjust or to photogenic. So photogenic is more like filters and things that you would see on Instagram. You can see if I click on these, they're gonna look a little different. Now we can customize these up. If you find something that's close to how you want, you can see that there is a little settings button on this too, and we can adjust the intensity of it. So this was the original, and this is with that filter applied. So the filters are pretty good in this photogenic area. If I cancel out of this, we also have the ability to auto enhance, which is like an auto color correction tool. I don't really think that did a great job and cancel out of that. But the one that I would use the most is just under adjust. And then in here, we've got a lot of your standard sort of color grading, color correction features. Things like the brightness, contrast. So brightness and contrast would be the first two that I would be playing with. Then I would be jumping down here to warmth. So we can either cool it down or make it look a bit more blue or a bit more yellow and orange, but warm it up a bit with this slider here. Now, if you wanna add more detail to it to make it stand out a bit more, this is what the clarity slider is. So you don't wanna to go too much, but normally just adding a little bit of clarity on here can work well with your thumbnail images. So those are the main ones that I'm playing with. Sometimes I'll increase the vibrance a little bit as well to maybe bring back some skin colors here. And that's looking pretty good. So let's deselect that now. Now we're gonna go and add in a background for some text that we're going to add. So I'm gonna come over here to elements. I'm gonna make sure we don't have any searches currently active. I'm gonna choose a rounded box here because this thumbnail here is about YouTube thumbnails. So I'm gonna create something in here that kind of looks a bit like a YouTube thumbnail and that I'm holding one up. So maybe something like that. In terms of color, with this selected, I can come up here and change the color. Maybe we'll go a golden kind of color. Yeah, maybe something like that. It'd be good to start with. We can add a border to it by clicking the little icon next to it. Let's increase the border weight and maybe we'll make the border, we can change the color here. Let's make the color white. Now with this selected, I might come back up here to the border and let's adjust the corner rounding. Let's increase that a little bit so they're a bit more round on the edges. Maybe something like that. Maybe we will stretch this out a little bit more here and maybe down a little bit more. 
So now let's come over here and add in some text. And again, in here, lots of different presets and things. So if you find something you like the look of, then you can click to add that to your project. But I'm gonna create something custom from scratch. So we're gonna go add a heading and I'm gonna type in YouTube. We're gonna select the text here. I'm gonna come up here and choose our primal video font, which is Oswald and bold. And I'm going to increase the size. So we can do that here using the plus and minus, or we can just click and drag from down here and scale this up. So maybe something like this. Let's change the color of it to red. Now we want a brighter red, so I'm gonna go custom color. Let's drag this up the top there. Now let's move this up here, probably a little off center, maybe around here. Now to add our next line of text, we don't need to go and create it again from scratch. If we select our first text box here, we can hit duplicate and it's gonna give us a copy of it. Let's pull this down here beneath it and let's change this text to thumbnails. Now for this one here, let's scale this down a bit so that it actually fits in line with our YouTube text above it. And pull it down a little bit more, YouTube thumbnails. And for this one, we're gonna change the color to a dark gray. And let's duplicate that one again. Let's move it down. YouTube thumbnails, let's select this and go easy and free. Let's change this one here to white. And let's make this one a little bit smaller because the most important piece of our thumbnail image here that we want the viewers to read first is the words YouTube and thumbnails. And it just happens to be easy and free. So that's a lower priority for the text here. Now that white text really isn't that easy to read on here. So what we would do with our branding is we would add a text box here behind it. So I'm gonna go elements. I'm gonna choose a basic square. I'm gonna pick this square up. I'm gonna move it behind this text here something like this. With that box still selected, we can come back up the top here. We can add in our primal video blue. So if I hit on plus here, I have the primal video blue copied. I can paste that number in, there is our blue. Now what I'd normally do here is because we've got the text layer and the background, I'd actually wanna group the two together because if we go to move something around right now, that the two of them are separate. So I wanna put them into position where we want them and I wanna select both of them. So I wanna select the background, I wanna hold down shift and select the text, and then we can come up the top here to these three dots and choose group. So now if we pick this up and move it around, it's actually moving both of those elements around at the same time. Now because we want this piece here to almost look like a YouTube thumbnail, we could probably add a few more little graphic elements on there so that it stands out, looks a bit more interesting. So if we come down here to the circles, Let's add a circle, let's move it down here and let's make it really small. Okay, that kind of small. Let's bring it down here. Let's change the color on it again to be our primal video blue. So now that we've got one, I'm gonna make quite a few of them. So we're gonna select this one here. We can come up here to duplicate. Let's position this one next to it where we want it. A little bit of a gap between them. Now let's select both of them so we can hold down shift. We can then hit duplicate on both of them. That's gonna give us two more. Position those where we want it. Let's select all four of them, duplicate those, line them up to where we want them. And now I'm gonna select all of them. Hit duplicate and let's put it directly underneath, something like that. Let's select the rest of them here so that we can group them all together in case we need to move them around. We don't have to do it individually. So we can hit the three dots again, group them, and we've now got that as a graphic that we can move around. Now to make this stand out a little bit more, I might add a bit of a border around the outside here. So I can come back over here to elements. I can choose, maybe we'll go right angle. Let's scroll down. So we could use one of these. This is on the pro plan only. It's a right angle shape that we could then bring in here. We could rotate it, scale it down, maybe change the color of it to white. And I'd then copy and paste that to each of the four corners just to make it stand out a little bit more. Or we can actually create this ourselves. So if I just remove this now, so we don't need to use the pro graphic, I can remove our search here. So we're still under elements. Let's go right to the top. Let's just create a simple line. Here is our line. Let's put it up the top here, close to where we want it. Let's shorten this down. We can adjust the thickness up the top here. If we wanted to make it a little bit thicker, so maybe we go to five. We can change the color of it from black to white. We can hit duplicate. So we've got two of them. We can then grab this little rotate arrow here 
and we can move it around until it says 90 so we know it's perfectly straight. We can then pick that up and we can move it so it lines up perfectly with the other one. And we've now created our own very similar graphic. Now again, if I select both of those, we can group them and I can duplicate it. So we can move this down now to this bottom corner and let's rotate it. Let's duplicate it again, move it to the other side. And again, we can line all these up so they're perfectly aligned with how we want them. Let's rotate this around to minus 180 and select it, duplicate it again for the final corner. Let's move that up the top here and rotate that one around. Okay, so that's starting to look pretty good. I do wanna add in one extra little graphic that we have on our computer. So I'm gonna to go to uploads, I'm gonna upload a file. So this is where you could upload anything that's related to the thumbnail you're talking about. If you're talking about say Adobe Premiere, you could put Adobe Premiere's logo on there so your viewers know what it is you're talking about. But I'm gonna to go to desktop, I'm gonna to go to images. We're gonna bring in the mini Justin riding a bike because why not? Can select on that. Let's scale this down a little bit. Maybe something around here. Again, we can do this background removal. So if I select the image, come up here to edit image, background remover, it's gonna take all of that green out of the background. And we can now drag this across to where we want it. Maybe something like this. And hey, this is looking pretty similar to the thumbnail image that you likely clicked on to be watching this video. So now that we've got everything pretty close, I'd probably come back in and tweak some of the colors if I wanted to adjust the background a little bit darker, a little bit brighter, if I wanted to make any minor adjustments to the skin colors or anything like that with the tools that I've shown you, I'd be doing some minor tweaking and then it's time to save this out. So you wanna come up the top here to share when you're done, then down to download. Now you can either use in here a PNG file or a JPEG. I'm gonna go with JPEG, I'm gonna choose download. You can see here that our file is downloaded. And then ask us where we want to save it. We can then hit save. And then when we want to add this to our YouTube video, we can go back over to YouTube, open up your YouTube studio dashboard area, go over to content, select the video that you want to add it to. I'm just going to pick this one here. So if we scroll down, we can see we've got thumbnail image, select or upload a picture. We can select the three little dots here and we can change this image to be the one that we have just created. So now that you know how to create an amazing looking thumbnail image, if you wanna learn how you can actually get your videos showing up and performing on YouTube consistently without needing to rely on hoping that one of them goes viral, then check out our free PDF download linked on screen where we take you through our YouTube ranking process. So don't forget to grab your free copy now and I'll see you in the next video.